Okay, so there's been a lot of, there's a lot of prophecy all the time about the body of Christ, and there's been a lot of prophecy about this year, and this is what I've heard about this year, and specifically this is one dream that I had that has to do with a lot of people's lives around me, but I believe around a lot of people in this nation. Okay, so this dream was a really long dream. It was about a half hour long, and I'm really only, like the only parts that really apply to other people is the beginning and the end of the dream. Everything else doesn't really apply so much to other people. But I'm gonna go through this dream and just talk about what it meant. So, so this dream starts, I was at church, um, or I wasn't at church, I was actually at a gathering where people from a bunch of different churches were doing things. Um, really it was like one main church, which was my church, but there were other people from other churches around helping us to set up for this festival that we, uh, that I was actually going to be a part of in real life, a Christian festival. And it had, it didn't happen because of the quarantine. But in this dream, we were setting up for it. And as we set up for this dream, there was a tornado coming right for us. And so I look out and see this tornado. There's actually two of them, but there's one really close to us and coming right at us. And when I see it, people are freaking out. People are saying, holy crap, there's a huge tornado, you know, coming for us. And people are just scattering at this point. People are going to leaders to figure out what their advice is, you know, uh, where is their shelter in this building. And um, it was just a nightmare. I ended up going next door into this deep basement. And then I had, in this deep basement, it turned into a bunch of different environments that were, that represented my personal life. But then at the end of this dream, I ended up outside in another part of the same town I was in talking to this woman of God. She was very into the prophetic and she was an intercessor and she had a close relationship with God. She clung onto God's hand very closely and she was probably a grandmother, but she definitely, she definitely had kids. Her and her husband were going on this date and it was a special date, like an anniversary or you know something very special that they planned. And they were always trying to make sure that this date would happen no matter what. Um, when this tornado happened, it wrecked everything. And she asked me if I could go and watch her family, her kids, her grandkids, whatever. You know, she was just talking about the children and her children and she was very scared. And so I said yes. And then I start praying for her because I see this fear that's trying to attack her and she knows that she's a mature Christian. She knows what's going on. But I just started praying for this fear to come off of her and just for God's glory to be all over her and just that her, her date with her husband would just be very blessed. And I just started speaking these words into her life and she started bawling her eyes out and I started bawling my eyes out. And I had never felt the Holy Spirit so strong in a dream ever in my entire life. And the tears that I was crying, I mean, I physically felt these tears to be so real. And that was the end of the dream. I was on my way to this house, um, you know, just obeying this uh, godly woman's desire was that I would just watch her kids. So I know that was kind of vague, but let me just break down what this dream really means. I don't have to go into too many details about it. I just have to explain to you what I know what God is doing in the body of Christ through this dream. So what God is doing is he is wrecking the body of Christ. He is coming in like a whirlwind into a neighborhood and just totally disassembling everything, throwing things everywhere, getting rid of things. And to our physical eyes, we don't see what God is really doing. We don't know the plans that God has for us. We don't know his order. We don't have his mind. We don't have his heart. I mean, we, we do, we have the mind of Christ. We have, you know, we have all that, but we don't always see. We are in the season where God is just tearing up what mankind has done, what mankind has planned. He is tearing it apart and putting us back into order so that we can function in him the way we were always meant to as individuals as well as the body of Christ. And we don't know where we are going 
We don't know what we're going to do. Okay, me personally, there's a lot of things. Okay, there's a lot of blessings coming along for a lot of people. But there's also a lot of uh, situations where we will be confused and not know what to do. I don't even want to say necessarily supernatural strength, but this is a season where we will have no choice but to just trust in God and to go with the flow. I'll say that. So through this storm, through everything that's going on, we will be scattered. We won't be in the same place we were before. And we will have, like I said, we will have no other choice but to trust in God and what he's doing. And once we are put into that place, our walks with God will be so much more able to profit his kingdom. All right, this is a season where people will become desperate. And in my own life, I have had to face some situations that made me uncomfortable already. But regardless, going through them means you will be more obedient, you will get stronger, you will get closer to God. So one thing about the season that it'll make us do more than anything is it will make us surrender. Yeah, there's transformation, yes, there's repentance, but what this season is going to teach us more than anything is surrender. About how we cannot actually manage things on our own, and everything is only manageable with God. And when God manages things, and when he's putting us into, th into the places we are meant to be, it will be rather unpredictable about where we would end up being. We wouldn't know. When I was in this dream, I went through this whole weird avant-garde trail um, that I never would have imagined ever going through. But the more important thing is that where I started and where I ended up were two completely different places with completely different people, a completely different situation, and a completely different climate and atmosphere. It was like the only thing that was left the same in my spirit was the progress we were working on in the Lord. And it wasn't the pro it wasn't the amount of progress. The amount of progress was changing now. It was actually it was elevating. It was getting really it was getting way more. But the heart of Christ and ambition to do the will of God was the only thing that remained the same. It was just at the end of the dream. Now I was thrown in a different environment and I was doing way more of it in places where I was way more needed than before. One thing personally, the probably the biggest thing that God showed me in this dream, for me personally, is that people would always ask me to do things. They would say, hey, can you give me a ride somewhere? Or can you do this thing? Can you watch this for me? Get, get this grocery? Or can you, you know, call this person and tell them this? You know, whatever it is, just these little things and big things. People would tell me and ask me to do things that I can help them with in life. And my response a lot of the time would be no. And even more than no, it would be, I have a I have a brilliant plan myself on how this should work. And you should do this, and then, I, and then I should do this part, and then we can do this. That's convenient for both of us. I would say things like that, thinking I just was smart and brilliant and just knew how things uh, ran. And God showed me in this dream personally that I actually need to be doing things that people are asking me to do. Regardless of how I feel of it or not. Yeah, I mean, not just everything. But ever since this dream, I've been doing things for people a lot more by just van trying to be vanilla, yes, about it. Just, yeah, I'll do that. I'm really trying to do that a lot more. God showed me that's what I need to be doing. That's what he created me there for. He didn't create for me to just rewrite their plans and to tell them how it works. He showed me that I just need to just say yes and help them. Because that's how I can help them, and that's that exactly the help that they're looking for. So anything beyond that is excess, and it's vanity, and it's probably a little, a little flashful. And that's just a personal note. But doing that I knew would change the outcome in my walk with God and where I would end up in life. Now whatever God is doing and wherever he's wanting to take you in life, it's, it's an outcome that God promised to you. It's, a, it's an outcome that he planned for you. He doesn't want to give you anything else except that outcome that he wrote in your book in heaven that is for you. He wants you to have that. But are you going to be obedient to him? And are you going to fulfill the calling he has for you? If he's opening a door for you, are you going to walk through it or not? And, um, you know, and also be careful. Some doors may not be his, but regardless, he is opening doors for us. And we are meant to walk through them. 
And as we walk through them, the more God will be able to bless us in his will, because we're more in his will. Thank you, Jesus. So I don't know if there's much more I can say. I feel like there's a lot more I want to say, but regardless, I'm just gonna close right here. This dream is literally, I had, I saw a tornado wreck everyone's lives. Everyone scattered apart. Everyone was lost. All of our plans were annihilated. And then everything was being put back together and it looked devastating, but God had us exactly where we were meant to be. And in that desperation for God and that, des that devastation for God, is God now just able to just put us where we need to be and build us up properly. Hallelujah. So in the next time when the, when, the winds when the winds blow, the house will not fall because it's in God. Because we were in these situations that just made us not able to be sure about anything, we called on God and because of that, God was able to put us back into the proper place that we were always meant to be. And so that is what God is doing in the body of Christ. I can be unsure about a lot of things and I can talk about things that are really just for me. But what's for the body of Christ right now more than anything else is that God is really undoing the church. He's undoing individuals and he's putting them back together in the proper order so that God can do his will in us, his work in us, and he can be glorified. Because we think we got it all together, guys. We think we got it all together. We know what we're doing, but we don't. But I had this dream, you know, four months ago, three months ago, something like that. and. I know this is a little late for this video, but what God has already been doing in the body of Christ, he's been doing this, and um, it's he's not done yet. He's not done until we surrender more. So the biggest thing is just following God and surrendering more and trusting in him more and letting him take you where he's leading you to be so that you can fulfill your God-given destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And that, I believe, is where I can appropriately end. I want to say more, but I don't know if I should. I feel like there are some things I could say, but maybe it's just not the most necessary to try and get them out, because I could be here for another half hour trying to get, like, two pieces of information out. It don't matter. I'm going to end right here, and that's all I'm going to say. God's annihilating the body. He's, re he's, he's, you know, we're being broken into pieces and being put back together. That's what it comes down to, in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys. God bless you.